I guess I better say good morning. That means we're going to start, right? Good morning. <laughs> it's official now. Um, I, I got to tell you, over the last, what's it been, like 11 or 12 weeks now, we really haven't got to have church. And, and my eyes are focused on um, lawsuits and the governor and what he's saying. And week after week, I just felt rejected. I, I got, I, I don't know how to say it any other way. It's like you got the stamp denied. They're opening up other things. You can do all this other things. Uh, church denied. I got to tell you, um, I'm going to use some choice words here. I was mad. I really was. You know, and, and here I'm, I'm torn. I, I wanted to continue having church uh, when the governor first said something in my my governing board came to me and they're actually supposed to help keep me accountable and said you know you might want to rethink this we should do the right thing here and of course I was looking for somebody to give me some approval that it was okay to keep having church but I got more denies and disapproval and thought okay they're they're right we we probably better try to do this the right way and I and I was going back and forth I I wanted to find somebody that would agree with me. So I could, I could go up to Rob, and he'd say, you bet, have church. We're supposed to all never stop meeting together. And I'd go up to somebody else, and they'd say, I love the fact that you're putting others first. We really need to help control this thing. And here I'm going back and forth. Approval, denied. You know, acceptance, rejected. And I, I just have been all over the place lately. And I think this is kind of part of life. This is what, what happens to us. Now, is there anybody in here that's never been rejected from anything? It sucks. It does. Rejection is just miserable. Didn't we used to do this? Right? I put that up there because we were live streaming and nobody was here. So... I'm weighing things back and forth, and of course, you can take scripture and find in there just about anything that you want to find, right? So, so I would find stuff that we're, we're supposed to live in community, we're supposed to meet together. You know, uh, Psalms 31, 1, Behold, how good and pleasant it is it when brothers and sisters dwell in unity. We should be having church. So then I said, hey, maybe we could do this underground church. This is how they do it in other countries, right? <laughs> This, this is how the missionaries do it in, in countries where they're going to cut your head off. And this, this is kind of how I felt. If I was going to get caught, I'd probably be beheaded or something. We we'll do some underground church. Let's do that. Everybody sit towards the back. Sit back there. And then, of course, last week I told you that somebody walked in front of the camera, and then we got a call that you, you're having church. And you, we all heard that except the people that were online or <laughs> got cut out. <laughs> I just have been going back and forth all the time. And I think there's a certain part of us that just wants approval. We want, we want to be loved. And this rejection thing, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of tears me up. Now, I know there's a lot of people, and some probably in here, that really don't care. This is my opinion, and this is what I'm going to stick to, and this is what I'm going to tell you. And that tears me up, too. Because my opinion might be something else, and then I just have to say, good for you. <laughs> all right? Y'all went through that, that watched online. Good for you. But Proverbs 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron. And we're supposed to be meeting together. Of course, I couldn't say that because I have to be loving, and I'm the pastor, and you need to be good. I'm tired of rejection. I'm tired of denial. And I want people to agree with me. Don't you? Whatever it is. We want approval. We want to make sure that we're winning over people or our ideas are bad. We all know this one, right? Hebrews 10:24. Let us consider how to stir up one another in love, in good works, not neg neglecting to meet together. Stir up. Boy, I wanted to be stirred up. 
But then I knew I was doing the right thing by not meeting together. And I started to rate myself. I started to gauge whether I was doing the right thing or the wrong thing based on approval of others instead of God. Yep, I think we did the right thing. And uh, might have lost some people that thought we, we should have just had church anyway and didn't need to be underground church. Just have church. I'll bail you out. Well, I'll make the headlines. This is a little town. And most of you get the little paper, right? And pastors make headlines. I got I to gotta tell you about this stirring up. We, we stir up people all right. And we, we take this, this passage that we're supposed to stir up one another, and sometimes we don't put in love with it. <laughs> the, uh, the actual text says provoke. In your King James uh, translations, if that's what you're reading, it'll say provoke. And that's not always a bad thing. In this case, it's a good thing. It means to stir them up. Well, our country's stirring up people right now. You know, when you do something and you're looking for approval, then it's okay, right? Now it's okay. I have the approval of some prep, somebody. Maybe if you found another person, now it would really be okay. So you people that came along and said, it's okay to pat your wife on the butt. Now I'm good with that. Unless I see somebody that doesn't know who I am because I do not want that denial and that rejection. I don't want to have to explain myself. All I want to do is be loved by people. Don't you want that? Now, you guys that got Facebook, you're going to understand this, I think. I'm going to try to use this as an analogy for our, our rating, you know? Uh, this, this rating thing. When I'm watching the governor every day to see whether I can open church, his rating was dropping by me, my standards. His, his approval rating was going down. And I think we use like this social media thing to, to build each other up and stir each other up. And sometimes it's not always in a good direction. And I, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I, I think you guys do this too. If you don't have Facebook, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. You post something and you are actually waiting for the reactions. You're waiting to get those beeps or whatever, the little red light that lights up there that you got some sort of a reaction to your post. And you want more and more. This is approval. This is good. Wow, people love this. I've seen people come and say, look, look how many responses I got. Look how many comments I got on that. And you start watching it because you want that approval that bad. It will consume you to watch this thing. You put something on there, and nobody's responded. Let's say, let's say an hour goes by or two hours go by, and nobody responded. And I've done this before. I'm looking at my phone like, what went wrong? You know, either I didn't uh, make it public, or I don't know how all these buttons work, but nobody's saying anything, so I deleted it. Because I thought maybe I was being rejected. Whatever I said was not good. I needed the approval. The more loves outweigh the more likes. And the more comments outweigh all the emotion part. You know, all the little faces now, they got, they got like, and they got love, and they got mad, and sad, and wow, laughing. That's a new one, isn't it? The caring thing. Am I the only one that watches these things? Right? We do this. Well, you guys are pointing at each other. I can see out there better than you think I can. Right? You, you post something, and you are just waiting to get bombarded with people that will agree with you. Approval. My ratings are going up. Look at, look at that. Look at that. And some of the texts say, boy, you're getting a lot of attention from that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff right there. And, and sometimes we, we use a lot of different things to do this, right? But we're trying to draw attention to ourselves, and we're trying to make our ratings go up. You're looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. So what if you post something and you get a comment that says, you know, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to say that. What do, what do you think you're doing? 
Uh, now I'm thinking about taking it down. Rejection. Denied. I probably shouldn't say this either. But you know, protesting is great. But the first person that picked up a brick, why didn't somebody say, no, no? But instead, he got the approval. And the more approvals he got, the more he did it. And then it showed up on social media and people started doing it in other places because he got the approval. Whatever the world is approving, we're good with. And then some of us will actually go the other direction. Okay, I'm going to put on there how much I hate this. And you're waiting for the approval. You got both sides looking for the approval of other people, stirring each other up, but not always in love. We're seeking attention this way, and we do it all the time. We just want people to love us. I got a friend that once told me, why, why would people not love me? Do you all think that way? Don't we? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the only goofy one. Why would people not love me? I must be doing something wrong. So you type out a little thing that's got a little drama to it, and you get all kinds of comments and stuff. You poor thing. You know, now you've used that to draw attention to yourself, and now you're going to get the acceptance of them that it's okay. Where are you guys at? Not just what you're using to draw attention to yourself, but how's your love rating? We're supposed to love one another. Is it being accepted? Is it being rejected? Well, why would somebody reject my love? You think Jesus thought that same thing? All he wanted was love. And he got rejected. How are you guys doing? How's your ratings? Don't we go for ratings? We're shooting for it all the time. I whip my phone out and say, boy, my ratings are going up. I got like 100 likes on that. I'll show it to you. Look at that. 100 likes on that. That means I'm right. And you better be one of the ones that liked it. Because I'm right. My approval ratings went sky high. You post something else the next day and like two people liked it. I'm not going to show you that. Right? Because my approval rating obviously is dropping. Do we do this? Do we do this with one another? Are you being loved and are you loving other people? How's your rating? How are you doing? I struggled with this because while we're shut down, Jesus is telling me to do one thing. People are telling me to do another. And I'm concerned about you guys and not Jesus. He was getting the rejection. He wasn't getting my like button. He wasn't getting my love button. Yeah, we probably did the right thing. You know, if Jesus would have put a little comment on there, have church. Ooh, man, what am I going to do? Well, you know what? I just won't do anything. Is that where you're at, too? Jesus trying to tell you to do something? We can do it and just be good without the rejection. <laughs> when we start to get rejected and we don't get the love, when our love rating is not where we think it should be, we need to do something different. And this obviously can make a great change in people's lives. <laughs> uh, in the book of Numbers, they're, they're wandering the wilderness and Moses goes up the mountain to talk to God. And the people are in an uproar. And of course, they're stirring each other up because God wasn't quick enough. And one thing led to another, and pretty soon they've got a golden calf that they're worshiping because God's timing wasn't right. And his approval rating was dropping real bad. And they got all worked up, and they made this golden calf, and they started to worship it, and Moses comes down the mountain, drops tablets, breaks his tablets. God gets so mad that he sends fiery serpents to bite them. 
his approval rating had dropped to such a point that the people went a different direction because his timing was bad. I fear sometimes that. And in this whole pandemic thing, I'm thinking to myself, people are going to get in a habit of doing something else on Sunday morning. And I'm not the one that's going to get rejected. Jesus is. Yep, you can live stream and do all that kind of stuff, but we're supposed to meet together. So, if Jesus had typed on Facebook, let's, let's just pick Rob. You're in the front row. You're asking for it, buddy. All right? Let's just pick Rob. Types out a thing. Hey, let's all get together at my house. Nobody responds. He tells us, let's get together in my father's house. And nobody's responding because they're waiting for me to tell them that? Are they waiting for you? They're waiting for your approval? She'll, she'll go if you approve it. And then those two back there will come because she did. Where are you guys at with your approval rating, with your love to one another? How are you doing? Because you're going to kind of get what you give. It's easy to say, yeah, we love one another, and uh, this is what we're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, one of us can put a, put a message on social media that says, Jesus is my Savior, and then he gets like about three likes, you know. And he can put a thing on there that says, where's little, little, little John's is great. <laughs> right? Good for you. Got some approval. I'm going to say it again. I was there the other day. It's awesome. We'll probably have to edit that out, see, because the world won't approve of that. But if I went there to show you love, my love rating just went up. Not the world. Why are we so drawn to get attention from the world when really there's only one we need the approval from? Did he send fiery serpents? World's a messed up place right now. Jesus says he too will have to be lifted up like the serpent, which stopped it all. How are you doing with that? All they had to do was cast their eyes on the serpent that they raised up, and they would be saved. Do you get it when he says, I too will be lifted up? All we have to do is cast our eyes on him. But now if the world says, no, nah, snakes, let's have more snakes. And they get all this approval. Oh, we're all in for snakes. It's all good. You see, the first person that picked up the brick, or the first person that lit the match, instead of giving the approval, we would have denied them. We probably could have stopped a lot of things. But they get the approval rating going. Stir up. Instead of the rejection. We don't like rejection. In fact, I have a hard time giving rejection to somebody. Somebody said, well, when we were building this thing, well, you got to put a steeple on the top. No, we're not going to do that. They're out. They're gone. Didn't meet their approval. How are you guys doing? If Jesus came to you right now, and was going to reveal to you how your love rating is doing. How many smileys would you have? How many hearts would you have? How many sad faces would you have? Will the worship team get ready? I think we need to stop focusing on getting attention from people and start focusing on the one that we need to get his attention. We already got it. 
but we need his approval. If he came to you today and said, you know, I want to talk to you about your, your approval rating with me, where would you be at? We all think we're good, right? And, and myself as a pastor, I don't, I don't help a lot. Um, somebody will say, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I did that right, and I'll say, they're there, it's okay. Is that an approval? When maybe I should have said, dude, cut it out. Maybe we need to start doing that a little more often. Because as the approval stirs up, it just builds and it builds. And we're building in the wrong places at the wrong time. We're looking for the approval of the wrong people. Stop focusing on those seeking attention and they will stop doing it. Let me, let me make a point here. Sometimes approval ratings are on television. If we stopped watching, they'd stop doing it because they're looking for the approval. Sometimes it's on social media, sometimes it's on YouTube. And the more things go, it starts to build and starts being passed back and forth and pretty soon there's a whole lot of approval rating. That gives the other people the opportunity to do the same thing. We used to call these copycats. I don't know what you guys call them now. There's only one person that you need to worry about your rating with. And if he showed up today and looked you in the eye and said, I'm here to talk about your love rating, how would you do? This is what he tells us to do. He sums up everything. Love God and love people. That's my paraphrase. How you doing? Are you stirring that up? Or are you stirring up all this other stuff? And we watch, you see, because if we didn't give them the attention, they would quit doing it. We only do things that draws attention to us. Well, I suppose that doesn't apply to a lot of you. And you can say, well, I don't care what other people think. You're actually looking for somebody that says, that's right. I don't care what they think either. Hey, dude, you want to hang out with me? Right? We, we want this approval. And I want you all to have the approval of our Lord and Savior that you're doing okay. You're getting a million likes, a million smiley faces. What if you only got one? I'm, I'm like this way. I'll post something, one person liked it. I'm actually thinking about taking it down. I might just delete this. Obviously nobody cares about it. What if Jesus was the only one? What if he was the one that hit the like button? Would you take it down? Would you delete it? And of course, all this other stuff, you post something over here and you get all kinds of likes and loves. What if those were all Satan and all demons? You'd keep doing it because you're getting the approval. We need to stop giving approval to people of things that are not good. Stop giving them the attention. Stop passing it along. And worry about the one that needs the approval. We've all done some bad things. Well, maybe I'm the only one in here that has. And I'm sorry for it. And I'm gonna try and never do those things again. I think he would approve of that. I think I would get the heart button. How are you guys doing? If we would shut off the television, put down our phones, and worry about how our love rating is doing with the one that really matters, I think we'd be a lot better off. If I only knew a fraction of the things that I knew, I would be so happy. Just live in my own little world and everybody would like me and right, I'd get the approval from all the neighbors. Remember when you had to go a mile down the road just to find out what was happening to those people? 
but now they can post something online. You can say, hey, look, look what's happening with them, and you can either approve it or deny it. It's getting us in trouble. It's leading us down a path that we don't need to go down because everybody's approving it. Everybody likes it. Everybody loves it. So I'm going to do it again. If I get done with this message and I get all kinds of comments and say, dude, that was awesome. That was great. I'm going to share the crap out of that one. <laughs> right? If somebody comes along and says, dude, what? You know, you should quit wiping your nose. Quit sniffling all the time. I'm going to edit the kojibis out of that one. <laughs> Trying to be good. If you've got a history with Simply Free Church, you know that a lot of things have come out of my mouth that probably shouldn't. But I'm not concerned about, yeah, I am. I'm concerned about what you think. When I really shouldn't be. Let's all just take a minute. Forget about drawing attention from other people, people that really don't matter. And just lift our eyes to the one that will someday put a heart button on your life. Okay. Jesus appears on Facebook. Let's go down the Facebook path. If you don't have Facebook, I'm sorry. Jesus got a Facebook and man, he got billions of followers. And he puts on there, love my father, love people. And he gets three thumbs up. You think he'd feel rejected? He's had his fair share of rejection. We don't do what he says. What if he typed on there? See you at my house this morning. Billions of followers, billions of friends. They all claim him to be his friend. You know, two people say amen. But the bar down the street, little John's, gets hundreds of smiley faces that day. There's nothing wrong with little John's. <laughs> I'm one of the people who did the smiley faces. What if, what if Jesus posted on your Facebook page, stop doing that? What would you do? Would you delete it? You don't want anybody else to see it? Rejection. Denial. But you know, a lot of people aren't friends with Jesus. Oh, they, they want to be, you guys got uh, friends you don't really know, right? <laughs> they get sent you a friend request, and uh, I'm afraid they're a creeper, but okay, I'll, I'll try it. Or I don't know what they call them, the fishing or trolls or something. All right. Maybe they want to see what I got to say, but I don't know them. You know God. You know Jesus, right? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. That scare any of you? You know, somebody can get on Facebook and say a lot of things. I can go a lot of places and say, I'm in here in the name of John. Doesn't mean John knows me. I'm here in the name of Joe. Doesn't mean Joe knows me. I do a lot of things here in the name of Nick. Doesn't mean Nick knows me. Do you know Jesus Christ? Would you know it if he posted something on your Facebook page? Would you even care? This is the problem. We all claim to know him. 75% of America knows him. And if the Holy Spirit walked up and tapped him on the shoulder, uh, they wouldn't know who it was. Because he doesn't know you. We can do better. We can stir up 
this relationship with Jesus Christ one to another and stop stirring up all this other crap. We're supposed to stir up in love, not just stir up. You need to have a relationship with him. Let him guide you. Love him. That's all he wants. Isn't that what we want? Just love me. And he knows rejection more than any of you. He gets rejected all the time by every one of us too. Yeah, I love him. I know him. I know he loves me. And he tells me to do something. And I'm like, oh, I got to check with my board on this one. Right? People do a lot of things in the name of Jesus. They know him, but he doesn't know them. And we see this all the time. Hey, got a friend request. Hey, you know who this is? Oh, that's Jesus. Oh, yeah, I think, I think I know him. But he really doesn't know you. You won't respond to him. You won't give him the love that he wants. You want his love, but you won't give him the love that he wants. You won't do what he says. You just want to do the things that will get the approval, your approval. Now we're using your gauge. Oh, I want to do that, and I want to do that, and yep, I want to do that, and yeah, I'm going to use that one. But I'm not responding to all that love everybody thing. Why don't we stop some of this? Just get back to the basics. I'm not an anti-social media person. It's fun. But when you start getting wrapped up and looking for the approval of people, and they're sending you down the wrong path, you're in trouble. Maybe Jesus doesn't know you. Sometimes somebody will come to the church for help. And I want to look to the approval of others that it's okay to do. When I know in my heart I should just do it. Just do it. It's the right thing to do. They need some love. They need to show somebody that they're their friend. Somebody cares. But you see, if I don't get the approval of the people of the church, they're out. When Jesus is trying to tell me, reach out to them. Do the right thing. So if I go home this afternoon and post on Facebook that I just helped somebody, you're going to like it? Or are you going to say, what would you do that for? Why don't we start paying attention to the one that really matters? The one that actually has your approval rating on file and is gauging it. I hammer people, don't I? <laughs> I guess I'm just going to leave you. I had all these Bible verses that I should read, right? And put up on the screen, but sometimes I just want to talk to you. Somebody say amen. Amen. Good for you. <laughs> I got somebody's approval. Now I can do it again. Stop some of the crap that we're doing. Stop the fighting. Stop the arguing. And start doing the love part. Because that's the approval rating you need from the one that really holds the meter. Why don't we start with that this week? Let's pray. Father God, I just thank you so much for being so close and so present in our lives. God, I just want each and every person to not just know you, but that you know them, that you, they would let you into their life, let you into their heart to guide them along. Let's not just claim to do things in your name, but we want your approval, the one that really matters. Lead us this week to concentrate on what you want and your approval and not the world. God, I just thank you for your time together. I owe your son everything. It's why we do what we do, to lift his name high. That's what we need to do today. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen.